Hi, welcome surfboard fans, boardshop.co.uk surfboard review time and uh, a very nice bit of kit here, the <coughs> Matt Bylos Lost Psycho Killer in carbon wrap. Um, <coughs> if you've seen the review we've done of the PU board, you'll have the gist of it already. Um, the carbon wrap is obviously a, an even better take on what is already a good board. I'll run you through the details of the shape very quickly and then we'll go on to a bit of carbon wrap stuff. Um, First up, who's going to surf it? Pretty much anyone. Get the size and the volume right, and anyone from a real average guy up to a real top-end performer can surf it. Um, and it'll go in anything from thigh to solid, serious barreling overhead waves. There's lots of videos online, you can check them out, and you'll see people surfing it in all different conditions. So, loosely based on the Quiver Killer, which has been an awesomely successful and popular board for Lost, and for us, uh, it's a take to give you, give you a board which is has a bit more performance in poorer conditions without killing its performance in the top end stuff. So, feature wise, wide point slightly forward um, compared to the Quiver Killer. A um, little bit of a tailored nose rocker as well. <coughs> Through the middle of the board, extra volume, hidden volume as Barlos calls it. He's basically put more volume through the middle of the board to give you paddle power and stability, but hasn't compromised the refinement of the rails. So you've still got a board that's responsive and fun and surfs with a bit of precision. The biggest change obviously you'll see is in the tail. He's put in a double bump, um, like cut off swallow, as opposed to that rounded pin that the Quiver Killer had. The idea of this is that um, makes the board a bit more pivoty, but easier to turn. The double bump breaks up the flow of water and reduces the amount of foam you have in the rail. So in theory it turns, gets into its turns more easily, a bit snappier, and surfs with a bit more precision, um, especially off your back foot. Continuous rocker through this bad boy, um, which combined with the extra volume, gives you the paddle power and paddle speed, and also the flow and the ability to maintain speed through the poorer sections of the wave. Um, if you can see, the exit rocker on the tail is um, not massive at all, uh, but it's counteracted by that double bump swallow to try and give it that looseness uh, and release into turns. <coughs> the concave runs single to aggressive double, which again is there to kind of overcome uh, the volume in the board to make it loose and make it release. As you, I'm sure you know by now, concaves uh, generate lift and lift generates speed. Uh, and speed and that lift makes the board more manoeuvrable. And Bylos is pretty much the master at that. He's better than almost anyone else out there uh, actually achieving the extra speed you need. Um, <coughs> generating speed is a big feature of this board, um, especially for average conditions. And that's one thing he's focused on with all these features, the continuous rocker, uh, the double bump, <coughs> the ag aggressive double concave. And all in all, he's put together a package which is a lot of fun to surf. Sit it with like a full-on groveler and it'll take care of 95% of the waves you're ever likely to surf uh, unless you're going to go and charge stupidly big waves somewhere which probably like me you're not. Um, <coughs> so it's a good shape, the features work, it's an effective uh, functional surfer. We've sold a few and the feedback's been good already uh, and in the carbon wrap it's even better. You know about the carbon wrap I'm sure but the idea behind it is you've got this uh, EPS epoxy blank glassing with these carbon strips um, laid on. Uh, no stringer obviously, but what the, the idea of this board is, is to even out the flex, so to give you a very, very true flex. And the EPS keeps its like new board pop um, and its feel and its surfability almost indefinitely, whereas eventually PU, brilliant as it is when it's new, eventually does wear out depending on how much you surf the board. The thing about the carbon wrap um, epoxy take is that the way the X glass, which is glass basically in that kind of layup with the carbon strips, it stops any torsional flex in the board and it gives you more, di more directional drive, which means it surfs faster. We here reckon it surfs 10, maybe even 15% faster than the PU equivalent. And in a board for average waves, that's invaluable. The more speed you have, the better your surfing will be. Um, Pox is also light, which is good, but it's also durable. Um, doesn't necessarily mean stronger, but it does mean durable. So the wear and tear on the deck and what have you um, is less so generally than you get with a PU board. But the, the key incentive to go down the carbon wrap route is 
the performance, that drive, that speed, the flex, which is true to flex, a true flex rather, and the way the board flexes is, is partly what helps generate that speed. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice board to take care of a very wide range of conditions. And in that kind of middle market, there's a lot of competition, but this really is a standout option. Now, um, fin-wise, we've got it in FTS2. So um, I will be surfing mine as a quad in smaller and average kind of days, if it's a bit junky. And I'll probably um, switch up to a thruster if it's good, better, um, got a bit more push or broad or what have you. Um, <coughs> Fin-wise, the Neoglass uh, Performer is a favorite. The Carver works as well. And then there's a new range of Bardos fins out from FCS, which for those better days, a bit stiff, a bit more upright, will work really well too. So there it is, the Psycho Killer in carbon wrap from Bardos uh, under the Lost Surfboards label, online right now. Or you can, of course, custom order, um, specify your fin system, dims, what have you. Uh, you can trade in any old board against it. You can buy it on 0% finance. Um, <coughs> and that's it. And if you do like our video channel, please subscribe. There's a red button there if you're on YouTube. Um, if you're on our website, no need. Anyway, thanks for watching.